Hey guys, welcome to another React Native tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this new class morphism design in React Native. I just initialized a new React Native project and before moving forward, we need to install a couple of dependencies like React Native Linear Gradient, React Native Community Blur and React Native Gesture. After installing dependencies, I have removed all the boilerplate code and let's get started by adding the two background images. The first one is this uh, gradient background and on top of it, we will overlay this abstract image. So let me just import the image component first and get rid of this text. Add the image source require. We can also import it, but uh, for the time being, I'm using this require syntax pkg .jpg. and the another one is the image source require assets abstract.png. Okay, so uh, okay just a spelling mistake yeah so here like uh, we can't see the image because they are one after each other so let's add some styles so the first one is for the background image let's give it a height of 100 percent width undefined and expect ratio one and let's give it a z index of one so let's add that style back to the image component the styles dot background image and let's do the same for the abstract image background abstract image position absolute so that we can overlay on top of this gradient image uh, height undefined width 100% expect ratio 1 z index 5 and okay so okay uh, yeah and let's add the style back to the component uh, style start not this one yeah so here we can see like the images here so let's give it a little bit of rotation and put it in this center a little bit in the center of the background image so we can transform it give it takes an array with an object let's translate y to 200 okay now let's add the content so create a view and give it a styles a styles dot content container content container uh, let's display flex uh, let's give it a height of 100% width 100% so that it covers the entire screen uh, let's give it position absolute so we can overlay on top of everything align item center justify content center so it's vertically and horizontally in center so yeah so now let's create the uh, glass morphism card so for that we need the blur view so let's add the blur view blur view we need to import it import it from react native community blur and named import blur view so we can uh, put the blur view and so it just blurs the entire card so we get this frosted kind of a feeling from the card so let's create another thing inside so Let's put a text first, yeah. So 
So it's saying FW has already been declared. Oh yeah, it's automatically imported. Yeah, so everything is blacked out. Yeah, so let's fix this. So for the blur view, we can define blur type. Uh, let's give it as light. Okay, yeah, so and let's give it some blur amount, uh, which is such number 20. Okay, yeah. Now let's uh, give it some styling so it doesn't kind of. Uh, contain the entire height and width so styles dot card container and let's give it card container let's give it some style so let's give it some width uh, 350 pixel 350 and height uh, 200 yeah so here you can see like we have this blur card. Let's give it some border to see what are its boundaries. Border color. Let's give it some random color border width. So here you can see the the card the blurred card so now let's uh, wrap it with a gradient so that it we can uh, have a gradient kind of feel yeah and then cut 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 yeah so now we have this blur card so let's add some gradient inside it we can import linear gradient from react native linear gradient it automatically imported so let's give it some colors for the gradient which is subscenary let's give it rgba 0 comma 0 comma 0 and give it opacity of 0.1 and similarly the ending color is rgba 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.2 yeah so Saying unacceptable. Okay, let's. We need to give some other props like the start, and that is x zero five one, and the end x one y one, and use angle, and let's give it angle of hundred and ten degrees. Unexpected token okay 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 so okay let me forget the equal to yeah so try to register to okay yeah now it's working so here you can see we have a little bit of gradient so let's give it some style uh, styles dot card now let's give some styling to the card so you can give height of 100% because it's wrapped inside this container card container so we can give 100% for the each 100% let's give it some border border color let's give it RGBA let's give it white color with some opacity 0.3 let's give it border radius uh, 20 border width Let's give it two. Yeah, this looks great. Yeah. So here we have just created this card. So now let's uh, make it draggable. So for this, we need to use the React Native Gesture Handler library. So we can do import from React Native Gesture Handler. Yeah. So let's import the Pan Gesture Handler and the state and variant try to register to yeah okay don't know about that area yeah. so now let's create the draggable component so const draggable box 
right and give it props let's uh, initialize the some uh, animated values translate x new animated dot okay we need to import the animated first from the react native animated yeah now yeah animated dot value let's give it zero same for the translate y new let's copy this and similarly we need to store the last offset so that we can resume the animation from the previously drag position so let's set the last offset x zero y zero yeah so now we need to create some handling events which we can map to so the two events we are on. first one is on gesture event animated dot event uh, which gives an array an object native event translation x and use the value of translate x translation y and we can use the value of translate x then we can close this native event object and let's use the native driver so use native driver to so that it runs on the ui thread instead of the javascript thread so yeah and another method we need to create is on handler state change which accepts an event and we can do if event dot native event dot old state equals to state dot active then we can change the last offset x plus equals to event dot native event dot translation x similarly we can do for the y for the y we can give it as we can also change the translate x dot set offset underscore last offset dot x and we can do we can reset the translate x set value zero and we can do the same for the y so y here y here and y here yeah so these are our two handler methods let's just minimize it yeah now just return the pan gesture handler just pass the props um, now let's attach this two uh, methods which we just created our on gusher event equals to underscore on gusher event and on handle state change equals to underscore on handle state change inside this we can put animated view now let's add this draggable box so let's wrap this draggable box to the blur view let's give it a try and yeah it's working but if you notice uh, on the corners it's giving this some glitchy view so let's fix this so let's give it some style draggable box 
let's give it the same border radius which we have given above which is 20 and let's set the overflow to hidden and let's apply the style so draggable view style style so draggable box yeah so now we have added let me just reload this yeah so now you can see it's fixed yeah 